Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial episode. My name is William Juma. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to use SQLite database in a Laravel application. Laravel by default usually ships with MySQL as the database of our choice. But setting up MySQL and working with it sometimes can be a little bit of an issue if you want to set up your database very quickly and be able to up and running in a minute. Setting up SQLite can be an option that we can be able to use to be able to do very quick prototyping of our application. And then obviously at the end of everything, once your application is working, you can be able to change it and be able to now deploy it in production using MySQL. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able to do that. I want us to go to the .env file. And inside here we have uh, several configurations of our application. But what I want us to get to concentrate on is the database configurations here. So the connection, host, port, database, username, and password. And these ones by default are the ones that are to be used by MySQL. So if we want to use SQLite, I can be able to just change this and have SQLite here. And then remove every other thing. So I will remove the host, I will remove every other thing that we have here. And once I do that, we are able to use SQLite. But before we do that, we need to have the SQLite database file that is created within our database directory. And obviously, if I'm to show you as what we are having as at now, if we open database, there is no SQLite um, file here, database.sqlite. And so for us to be able to create it, I'm going to run the command php artisan migrate. And of course, we are going to be prompted because it says the SQLite database does not exist. So it's prompting us that uh, we can be able to say yes or no for it to be created. I'm going to click yes. And now you can see our migrations have been migrated. And now you can see also on this other side that we have our SQLite uh, database file. And that is all that you need to do for you to be able to use SQLite. Going forward, you can be able to develop your application, create new migrations, and then migrate them the normal way in which you usually work when you're working with MySQL and create your application. After that, if you want to deploy this application to production, you can be able to change some of these configurations and go back to use MySQL. That is all that I wanted to talk about in this tutorial episode. Thank you very much. If you like the video, subscribe, like, and you can also share. And if you have a question, you can be able to share below in the comments. Thank you very much.